pivot chart is very much like a normal chart, but is based on a summary of the data that you might get from a pivot table. Now there are two ways really of creating a pivot chart. One is to take an existing pivot table and create a chart from it. And the other is to go through the start process of creating a pivot chart. Let's follow both processes using the employees file. So firstly, let's insert the pivot table. It's going to go in a new worksheet. And it's going to simply tell us how many people there are in each department. Department into the rows. And then we'll count their IDs. And we know it always defaults to sum, so we have to change that to count. And there we have our departments and how many people are within each department. To then change that into a pivot chart, we simply click into the pivot table and use the normal keyboard shortcut that you would use to create a chart from a table of data, which is simply F11 on the keyboard. And hey presto, we have a pivot chart. The chart has been created as a new sheet called chart two, because this is sheet one. So it's not because it's the second chart, it's because it's the second sheet that's been added. And it's given us a graph based on each of the departments and the height is how many people are in each department. Now on the right, you'll notice it says pivot chart fields, very much like a pivot table field. And we have the same four sections. So having created the chart, we could then customize it. But at the moment, we're just looking at how to create them. So that's option one, effectively. Take an existing pivot table and then create a chart from it by doing your keyboard shortcut of F11, and that will create a pivot chart. The second way to create a pivot chart is to actually go straight for the create pivot chart option rather than have a pivot table and create a chart from it. So we go into our data, in this case, the employees data. On the insert menu, under the chart section, we have pivot chart. From the drop down, we can choose pivot chart or pivot chart and pivot table. Now you'll actually find that even if you choose pivot chart, you still get a table, but we can hide it. So it selects the range as normal and we want to place it in a new worksheet. OK. And you can see we have chart one and pivot table four. So if I want to then add fields to my pivot chart, I can take, for example, the marital status and drop that in the axis area, which is classed as the row in your pivot table. You can see it appears in the row as well. And then we take the salary field and drop that into the values. And it's gone for count because we chose that last, but I actually want the sum this time. And you can see we have our pivot chart and the pivot table that we're not interested in. Now we have a couple of options here. We either hide these two rows. Now we cannot delete them because that will disconnect the pivot chart from the data. So we could hide them, right click and hide because we're not interested in them. Or we can move this chart so that it is in its own sheet by selecting the chart, go into pivot chart tools, analyze, then move chart and we'll place it in its new sheet, which is going to default to chart four. OK, and there we see it exists in its own sheet then, because we're not interested in that pivot report. We're interested in the chart. Now, having got your chart by either method is when you can then start to customize it. So we have chart two, which was created by doing F11 on an existing pivot table and chart four that was created from scratch at the source data by going to insert pivot chart.